Welcome to another exploration. In this video, we're going to be looking at the city of Baltimore on the American East Coast. Um, just to give you an idea, if you're not all that familiar, you can see that whole vein of population running right through here. Baltimore, very close to the Washington, D.C. capital area of the states. And Baltimore um, having a rich history as far as uh, American cities go stretching quite far back in time um, population wise also um, fairly large fairly early in the hundreds of thousands in the mid uh, 1800s and moving forward into modern day so definitely one of the old cities and you get that on the eastern seaboard there um, of the states and uh, i wanted to take a look at some of the uh, visuals i've found in my journeys the styles of building you're going to find in baltimore and how uh, old world they are. So thank you for joining me on this exploration. Let's dive into Baltimore. And of course the hotel narrative uh, looking much the same as many of the other hotels we see in overall style anyway. Of course, you had to have an odd fellows hall. So many odd fellows about. Oh, look, Johns Hopkins University. Wonder what they're up to these days. And this is just so screaming at us, old world. Um, undeniable when you see the uh, architecture going on up here right down through here to the bottom floor and the mud flooded windows taking all boxes and of course it has to be able to be lit up and there it is lit up street cars of course in full effect in baltimore and these old photographs And of course, they don't always feature, don't just feature the large, splendid buildings, but uh, I also like to pick these ones out where you get a lot of the uh, stonework uh, and some of the features, the giveaways. You have this, the tapered chimney, the cupola up here. These are all indications of um, the old world civilization, as I like to call it. Uh, one that was systematically or is being or has been systematically buried with the new world disorder here we have the post office Carrollton Hotel now part of the narrative is the 1904 um, fire that destroyed much of the city we are told let's have a look and just a quick peek on the wikipedia page um, mentions the great baltimore fire of 1904 destroyed 70 blocks uh, 1500 plus buildings uh, and led to urban renewal programs so uh, and you can see how they're wording it already as if this was a, a blessing and allowed um, old Baltimore to move into the modern era. So basically the death of the old world city and the under um, undertaking of the, the new world infrastructure and all that that goes along with it um, as a result of this fire. So interesting. Uh, we'll continue to look at the old world, the remnants of the old world. This is uh, Aqueduct Bridge. Really not something I think about um, in the, this part, these areas of the world. Um, if this was in Europe, this would be considered a Roman aqueduct. And you, you can see, you see these a lot in Germany as well. But you can see the scorch, scorching that's going on here. And then you can get a sense for the age of that as well, just by the growth up here. So, this obviously looking like something existed that is no longer there. 
bit strange, but uh, this is just a little uh, snippet of the old world here. You can see the detail on the ridge. This they're calling the Abel building, A-B-E-L-L. -L. Kind of see it there. In depiction with the streetcars being pulled by the horses. Of course, that's how they were first designed. We are told pre-electricity, they were all installed. It's almost like they're anticipating electricity to come, even though they didn't know what it was at the time. It's almost like they're getting all their infrastructure ready for something they didn't know was coming, if that makes any sense. Wow, that's a, that's a beauty. Not exactly sure, I think it's an old brewery. Yeah, brewery, there you go. Really quite something up here. Newspaper building. They had quite the taste. Those new newspaper editors, producers, creators of the news, the narrative. Yeah, and so many of these uh, uh, attributed to a very short time frame, um, almost consistently post American Civil War uh, the Civil War being used often as like almost like a rallying cry to um, develop the nation um, but coming out of time where there's uh, all sorts of duress conflict uh, racial divide north-south divide uh, and I find that to be um, conflicting with what we're actually seeing um, architecture uh, not looking like it's built uh, during a time of all this uh, calamity and conflict but looking like uh, you would have to have some form of unity in your society to uh, to build in such a manner um, there's so much art involved with the, the construction process there hotel in the background look at that this is this is this is obviously old world too but look at that really jumping out at you so that's a hole in the narrative as far as I'm concerned um, and of course this type of thing uh, I'm sure that they attribute this tunnel to some time back in the 1830s going right back around the time so many of these canals were supposedly being dug out all over the place all old world um, explanations for old world uh, infrastructure um, as far as I'm concerned And even this, right? This is. Why do you put this here? What's the purpose? We find so many of these these kinds of buildings, these styles of buildings, um, looking, you know, firmly cemented, pardon the pun, into the uh, into the area. So not looking recent, not not looking. Uh, new, not looking like all this just shot up within a 20-30 year time period, um, you know, previous to the photos that we see. You see the remnants of how the t t deterioration here of uh, of the old world, and then the whole new world with all its issues. It's an interesting photograph that one. Uh, another big uh, problem with the uh, narrative is the uh, is the demolition of so much of this, uh, like the erasing of the past. Right here is the result of the fire. Does that look like the result of fire? Uh, this looks like Dresden, World War Two. Looks like they were uh, on a mission to destroy. I don't know who they are exactly. We know some names have popped up, but. Uh, there looks like there was intent to destroy what was once there and we have seen in uh in uh, past explorations that the uh, re really the decade of the 60s um was a big one for the demolition and the erasing of uh, of the old world i think it was minneapolis over 200 buildings almost or almost 200 buildings destroyed in that decade old world buildings 
Um, but no doubt the narrative repeats itself from city to city on the continent here. We need to see really the results of the devastation. This definitely giving you that old world texture. You got a statue in the corner looking like um, places I've seen in Belgium, Germany. You just you have these statues perched in most precarious positions. But quite the feat of uh, architecture, and of course, quite the feat to uh, build it into the architecture. So, and a lot of times, what's left like this becomes some sort of tourist attraction distorted. This being a sports, right? It's one of the major uh, distractions put before us here in the 20th century into the 21st century. Uh, what sports team do you follow? Uh, Look here, not there, type of thing. All distraction. Bread and circuses, as they say. Uh, the old Roman adage. Here we have a normal school. Did a video on the normal schools. I wanted to mention as well, if you do enjoy these, uh, these videos, if you do like the visuals, um, and you have somewhere in mind, that you'd like me to have a look at, leave it in the comment section. Um, I'd be happy to uh, do a little investigation on that, uh, wherever you think deserves a closer look. And so many places do, really. But right down to a small town, right? It's not just the big cities, but there's so many things that are difficult to explain. Druid Hill Park, that's an interesting name. This is quite the uh, quite the building right there. This would, imagine having one of these in your in your local area, filled with all sorts of uh, food you can grow. Maybe you have several community community based. Administrative building. Um, right now just about a third of the way through my file. And then, then I'll be getting a picture of what type of place this must have been. This really paints a picture that uh, contradicts our historical narrative. Yeah, and you can really get a sense of the degradation over time where we're at today. And it's my understanding Baltimore is a broken city, um, like so many cities and towns are um, at the, this point in history now, um, by design. The, the, all, all having been done by design, the degradation of our culture, of, uh, of uh, the, the, the removal of pride in uh, who we are, and what we do, how we interact with each other. Um, so, you really get a sense of that, uh, uh, what, what it, may, it may have once been like when you look at some of these old photos. And here you get a sense for the age in some of these buildings. Uh, again, this reminding me of something we'd see somewhere in England, maybe something built maybe in 1670s. Here's a hospital with a dome and cupola on top of the dome. An old city hall. courthouse with the upper columns and the basement windows in horse and buggy era all very well paved out and looking to have been there for quite some time no doubt this building probably attributed to some time around the turn of the century having been built but certainly not looking that way uh, according to these photographs and postcards that, that we see. So, you be the judge. Uh, does logic tell you that there's something maybe wrong with this narrative? And of course the uh, show houses that in, of the old world uh, beyond spectacular. There's one lyric. Here we have a tower building, Romo Seitzer Tower. It's a 
again. What's the favorite name? Marilyn Casualty, Causalty, Casualty Building. Much of history has been scrubbed and rewritten. Really have to wonder. Magnificent entrance to the old world building. The old hippodrome. So many old hippodromes of the old world. Observatory. This being designated another female high school, because one wasn't enough. And really showing us the mud flood window action going on here. Um, screaming old world, that was. Fidelity Trust building. Very stone looking. Very old looking. It's called the Garrett Building. I have a Gotchuk. Gotchuk. Here you can see it. Some sort of factory. If you know more about this, throw it in the uh, comment section. Anything you see where you can add color to it, or if I've made a mistake, I don't. I don't claim to be an expert on any any of these areas. I'm just trying to bring the visuals and some of my ideas. Home for the aged. Here. Old folks home. There's a hospital designated just for the women. And of course for the orphans. Good place for the orphans. No shortage of orphans at that point in time. Easy to teach an orphan um, a false history because they don't have parents to uh, contradict that history. They're completely beholden to the state, to the church, whoever is, uh, who's, whoever's hands they're in to be raised. Hotel Belvedere. And there's the front entrance of the Hotel Belvedere. And inside, looking like one of the lounge rooms, I'm sure. One of many. Having that cathedral-like feel over here, see that, the feel for that. Also the Hotel Belvedere, looking like a ballroom. And another lounge type area, dining area. Uh, here what we call the old fireplaces. So many people now starting to suggest what was possibly radon having been used as a source of uh, of heat, warmth. Um, many of the old fireplaces not looking like they were designed to be burning uh, wood. And we have another hotel, no name attached to that one. This be the Emerson, Hotel Emerson. St. James. So many, just a faint whisper from the past now. There's another hotel, Kernan maybe, Kernan Hotel. Um, Rennert Hotel. All sorts of hotels, Baltimore, Old World, Baltimore. And of course we have the power plant on the water. So often we see this type of infrastructure in the old world cities built right in often built right into the riverbanks as a part of the infrastructure johns hopkins lab this would be this is the same structure nope sorry also johns hopkins who were the builders not the architects who were the builders? Wow. Really wow. 
Hmm. You would be in awe to coming through, coming up. Maybe you're an orphan. You're coming up into this world. You're told told it's one way, and everything around you is screaming that it's not so. Um, there has to be some sort of level of, of uh, awe, and then disbelief that consistently disbelieving what you're seeing with your eyes and what you're told about history. And we carry that, of course, through to uh, to modern day where we are right now. That disbelief, and we take that disbelief in with us when we we investigate this, these types of uh, situations. And then you can feel how your your brain is wired to uh, to discredit such ideas, to um, come to the aid of the false narrative. It can, in many ways, it can be a quite the battle to. Uh, to deprogram from from what what we've been uh, led to believe is history, and to start to see it uh, for what it actually is. So, lies upon lies upon lies. All right, getting close to the end of the file. Academy of Music here. Wow. Here's a here's a rail terminal. Of course, all the, all the rail lines only hardly having popped up in that 50-year period previous to this. Um, again, this looking like it's been there for quite some time. Like so much of what we see. And the normal school. Polytechnic University. We have an old tunnel that's giving you a decent idea. You have that old stone look on the outside, and you have the old, old, old brickwork here on the inside. That's the hotel runner. We saw that earlier. A little bit of detail. I was trying to show you the face here. And uh, this is a high school, Western High School. Um, why do you design a high school? to look like this. Well, what's the purpose? We don't do it now. We, we don't even have the place to think about pulling that from in our minds, most of us. This is a, and architects as well. Everything is so plain, flat-faced, smooth. Uh, so just a different way of thinking, coming from a different time. Forest Park High School. Yeah. Scottish right. Oh, of course, but of course. Oh, we have the Bonnie Blink and Sonic Home near Maryland, near Baltimore, sorry, in Maryland. And then hospital. I'll just quickly get to the end of the file here for you so you can have a look at everything I have. St. Charles College. Well, of course, a newspaper building, synagogue. Oh, yeah, yet another. All right, I think this is a good one to leave it at. Um, supposedly, the aftermath of the 1904 fire, but again, looking like uh, this place was devastated. So, if these were left standing, what was uh, what was destroyed? I sure would like to know. I sure would like to get a, a clearer picture of what it, what existed in that in, in the old world. All right, I thank you for joining me on this journey through Baltimore. Until next time.